we've now been able to figure out word problems, uh, getting the equations from word problems, and then we've started doing solving the linear systems by graphing, finding that point. But now graphing is, isn't always perfect. So we need to be able to do the algebra. First method I'm gonna show you is called substitution. Now, so we're gonna solve the linear system by substitution. Substitution means replacing something with its equivalent. So when I look at this, my first instinct is to rearrange one of my equations and sub it in. But in this case, I'm gonna look at it and pause for a second and I said, well, 18 is equal to 5x minus 3y. And 18 is equal to this. That means we also know that 18 is equal to 18. So what we can do now is make the other side equal to it. Well, if 18 is equal to 5x minus 3y, I'm going to replace this 18 with 4x minus 6y. And that's not going to be fun, so we'll skip that. I'm going to go back, and I didn't get rid of an, a variable when I did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one equation and rearrange it to y equals mx plus b. This one looks like it'll be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I get negative 6y equals negative 4x plus 18. Then, I'm going to divide by negative 6, so I've got y equal to 2 over 3x minus 3. Now, I did that pretty quick. What I did was I subtracted 4x from both sides, and I divided by negative 6. Negative over negative made that positive, and then I simplified it. I know I'm going quick, but these are steps you should be comfortable with by now. But now, I know what y is equal to. It's equal to 2 over 3x minus 3. I'm going to replace y in the first equation with 2 over 3x minus 3. 5x minus 3 times 2 over 3x minus 3. 18. So, what I did to get this was replace y with its equivalent 2 over 3x minus 3. Now, I'm going to do the distributive property. So I get 5x minus 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I get minus 2x, negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9, and that's going to equal 18. Are we getting anywhere? Yes, we are, because I can simplify this. These combine to give me 3x, and I still have my plus 9 equal to 18. I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. 3x equals 9. Divide by 3, x equals 3. So substitution, I sub this into the first equation. So I sub equation 2 into equation 1 to solve for x. That eliminated the y variable when I did that and gave me just x's, which allowed me to solve. And now that I have x equals 3, I'm going to sub x equal to 3 into either equation. And I'll call them 1 and 2. Equation 1 or 2. Into either 1 or 2. Let's try equation 2. That means I have 4. Subbing it in times 3. Minus 6y equals 18. So 
12 minus 6y equals 18. Subtract 12 from both sides, negative 6y equals 6. Hold it over here, see if we can get some of this. Divide by negative 6, y equals negative 1. So there's my y, there's my x. My solution is a coordinate point when x is 3, y is negative 1. So did all that work, I can initially, the first thing to do was to rearrange 1 to y equals mx plus b. This allows me to make a substitution into the other equation to eliminate one of the variables so I can solve for one variable. I know that all sounds kind of crazy. It takes a fair bit of work and it's going to be a fairly long process, but we have a solution that we can verify. I can sub this back into either equation and it should make it true. Uh, first one, 15 plus 3y equals 18. Take a look at that. 5 times 3 minus 3 times negative 1 equals back to the blue. And that gives me 15 plus 3 equals 18. True. Do the same with the next one. 4 times 3 minus 6 times negative 1 equals 18. 12 plus 6 equals 18. True. So we verify here. It was a verification. Three negative one is correct.